Hi, it's Mr. Mason again. Another way to divide fractions is to unsimplify to divide. This is a new method that uh, I recently learned. First of all, as always, we'll look to divide our numerator and our denominator. This first method has us unsimplifying one value. So if we look, 7 divided by 3 will not give us a whole number. 8 divided by 4 will give us a whole number. So what we're, we're actually going to do is we're going to make an equivalent fraction to 7 eighths that would allow us to divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 4. And it looks something like this. Since we cannot divide by 3, what we'd actually do is take our dividend, 7 eighths, and we're going to multiply it by 3 over 3. Since we couldn't divide by 3, we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. 3 over 3 is simply multiplying by 1, so it's not really going to change. It's going to change our fraction. It's going to give us an equivalent fraction, but it's not really going to change what we're actually, the values we're actually dividing by. And then we write our division, and we're still going to divide by our same fraction, 3 fourths. So now we've created a new fraction that if we multiply 7 times 3, we'll have 21 as our numerator. And 8 times 3 will give us 24 as our denominator. And we're still going to divide by 3 fourths. As we look across, we can actually do our division. 21 divided by 3 is going to give us 7. 24 divided by 4 would give us 6. And we'd need to write this in simplest form. I'm not going to write down because I'm running out of room, so I'll put it right here next to it. 7 divided by 6, there it goes one time. We'll have a remainder of 1, 6. So there you have unsimplifying with one value. Now, we could actually also unsimplify with two values. First, we have a mixed number that we'd need to change to improper. So we'll multiply our denominator by 1. 5 times 1 will give us 5. And we'll add our numerator, which is 3. So 5 plus 3 will give us a new fraction, improper, of 8 fifths. We're going to divide that by 3 fourths. In this instance, we'll look across to divide the numerators. 8 divided by 3, that doesn't give us a whole number. And 5 divided by 4 doesn't give us a whole number. So in this time, we're going to unsimplify by multiplying by both values from our divisor. So 8 fifths would be multiplied by 3 thirds. And again, 3 over 3 is really multiplying by 1, so we're not changing the value of 8 fifths. And we multiply by our denominator of 4 fourths. Again, we're multiplying by 1, because 4 over 4 is 1. And we're still going to divide by 3 fourths. There's a couple ways to do this. We could actually multiply all of these, all of the numerators, 8 times 3 times 4, and then multiply all the denominators, 5 times 3 times 4, and rewrite it and divide. But to cut down on some of the division of larger numbers, we can simply do this, because if you look at our string and our numerators right now, we do have 8 times 3 times 4, and we're dividing by 3. So if we look here, we actually have 3 divided by 3. So we can change that. 3 divided by 3 is actually going to give us 1. So we're actually getting rid of our division. And in our denominator, we have 5 times 3 times 4 divided by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is actually going to give us a value of 1. So we've actually gotten rid of our division. So now we can simply multiply what's left in our numerators and denominators. 8 times 1 is 8 times 4 would give us 32. 5 times 3 times 1 would give us 15. So we have 32 fifteenths that we would need to change from an improper fraction to a mixed number by dividing. 32 divided by 15. 15 will go into 32 two times. And we'll actually have a remainder of 2 out of 15. And there you have unsimplifying both values and solving for division to get an answer. Thanks. I hope this is helpful. 
and uh, I'll add another video shortly.